I'm looking for the first feature-length motion picture made in Canada, an adaptation of Longfellow's epic poem, Evangeline, made in 1913 by the Canadian Bioscope Company. The designation of a first is always politically motivated or ideologically motivated to an extent. Evangeline fits better with our idea of you know, what we would like to claim as a Canadian first, right? And that designation of a first pushes other films to the margins. He didn't go to Nova Scotia. He read about it. Glancing through these files, you can see that there's criticism of him for that. Uh, this site uh, represents the place where the Acadians uh, were deported. Uh, we know that the CPR donated its facilities for the shooting of the film. So by the time they did the film, the trains were quite involved here in bringing a lot of people to this area. Supposedly they subscribed 100,000, eventually it cost 30,000. That's a lot of money in those days. I'm reluctant to say that people were siphoning money off. They were not paying their bills and they had their buildings seized. These people were fighting tooth and nail to get here and scratch a living out of the land, you know. And this was pioneers hacking it out. The reality of what these people were doing is a much better story, you know, than the Evangeline myth story. Is there anything in your documentation that says that he was the director of photography? Um, technical engineer for Canadian Bioscope Company, LTD. In secluded hamlets, in towns and populous cities, like a phantom she came and passed away unremembered. Fair was she and young when in hope began this long journey. In my experience, we don't find films, films come out and find us.